Sorry, I tried to mute my mic, but I couldn't grab it at the time. Some kinky shit right now? Darn yeah, this is not kinky. Not kinky. A mirror, but why is my reflection not in there? Uh, it's that monster and so much blood. Oh yeah, that's the, the, the evil demon thingy that's been hounding her. This looks like a very old painting. I'll lay down and sleep tight when I get back home. What the fuck is this on the wall? What is this shit? Look at these. They're like a bunch of doll heads melted together and... and ugh. Shut up, it's not cute. I wonder what the deal is with the doll heads and the roses. Ugh, these toys are so ugly. There's a monkey. I hope they didn't hear me. And then a bloody, armless, slit throat, eyeless doll in a cage. I hope this never happens to me. Yeah, that's probably a good fucking hope. I hope that doesn't happen also. Are we still in the well? Whoa! Well, that was interesting. I wonder why she fell from the top. Okay, stop stop on the pills. Wait, so does that mean if I go up here, I'll fall to the right? And I can fall on that step? Nope. It was worth a try. Darmiat lives another roulette round. Well done. The stairs end up in a wall. Maybe that was the door I made and now it disappeared. Oh, no. We gotta go up into the attic, guys. Dun, dun, dun. The attic. Kill your friends. <laughs> oh, crap. Okay, so I see a golden cage with a lump under a blanket, so there's something alive in there. I see rabbits and, like, a lot of creepy dolls in here. This is fucking freaking me out a little bit. I'm playing in the dark, guys. Is it baby carriage? Mr. Midnight, where are you? I can't see very well. I won't touch anything until I can see what it is. Oh, that's a bloody fox's head nailed to the wall. Oh, that, that's delicious right there. That's just a, a bloody fox head. I won't touch anything. Oh, can I turn the light on? Why the fuck did this just move? Ah! 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 Oh my god, what the fuck is it? Kill it! It's alive! Ah! Oh my god! What the hell is it? These shoes are too big for me. It's still crying! Shut up! Oh, great, that's moving. Mr. Midnight, are you here, kitty? Meow! Oh, I found you! It's you, my, my goodness, my beloved friend, I found you! Fran, is that really you? Oh dear, finally. Let me see you. It's me, come closer, please. Let me see you. <gasps> it is my cat! It's Mr. Midnight! Yay! Oh, Fran, I'm so happy to see you. I'm a talking cat. It's not weird at all. I missed you very much. I had dreams about you. And here you are. Thank you for not giving up. I love you, my friend. I love you, too! Yay, Mr. Midnight! Oh, dear Fran, how did you find this place? Well, you see, I'm fucking crazy, and I take pills, and the pills make me even crazier, and I just fall down the rabbit hole. Alice in Wonderland's got nothing on me. <laughs> after those people took you away in the woods, I tried to follow them. But after a while, I got lost. My senses were too weak to track you. I tried to catch some food to recover, but something happened. Somebody took me and put me in this cage. I will open the cage. Yeah, I know. I want to turn the light back off. Fran, I'm very tired. I wish everything was just a bad dream. We need to get to Aunt Grace. I'm tired, too. But at least now we can take care of each other. Fran, can I ask you something? Sure. Sure, Mr. Midnight, what is it? Did you feel my presence in your dreams? Coraline, yeah, it's Coraline. <laughs> yes, I did. You told me to take the medicine and find you. What medicine, Fran? It wasn't really me talking to you. I think somebody was helping us get together. Every time I had dreams about you, I felt the presence of something else. The medicine? Well, the medicine really helped even though I saw I, even though I saw things I wish I didn't. But who gave you that medicine, my dear? 
the doctor. The doctor gave me med med many medicines. I don't really know why. They think I'm crazy. I see. Well, you are talking to a cat. I see. I'm very sorry I wasn't there for you, my friend. Wait, Fran, I heard a noise. Oh, I'll see what it is. I'll try and find a key to unlock you, all right? I love you. And a happy ending. Game over. That's a big umbrella. Mr. Rat, it's time to get up. It's a dead rat she's talking to. Toys in the attic always carry sadness with them. Oh, a lot of tiny stuff. Is that an angel's head? I like my own dress, but these are pretty, too. I guess I don't need them. What a pretty doll. I like the hairstyle. Ah! <laughs> I had to look one more time! Poke it. Poke it. Poke it. You should smile and be nice. It's time to sleep. Oh, hello, little babies. Who sewed you two together? Oh, my gosh. Okay, that's enough. That's enough. Let's, let's go. Ah! What the fuck? Don't scare me, dickheads! Not nice. Oh, look! Oh, I was right! Look, they are conjoined twins! I was right! Oh, you scared me. I thought nobody was living here. There you are. We were waiting for you. Where is your head? My head? My head is just in the right place. You, the precious being from the other world. Who would ever believe us? I'm confused. <laughs> and darn it, wasn't I adorable? Franbo, that's your name, right? And your mom and dad died tragically. Very brutal, right? And now you really want to know who killed them, right? How do you know? Slow down. How is it you know all this? We just know. We have to. We are part of this world. But don't be sad. Bad things happen to all of us. All the time. I wish I was home with Mommy and Daddy now. Don't wish for things that can't be done. Find solutions and answers. I should do that, but Mommy and Daddy will never come back. Drink some tea. Eat some cake. It'll make you feel better. Yeah, I'm not hungry. I'm not hungry. Just tell me who told you about me. Are you scared, little Fran? A little? A little. It's odd the way I came here, and this conversation makes me confused. You haven't asked about your cat yet, Mr. Midnight. That's very odd for a girl who loves her cat more than anything else in the world. And yet, you look so calm after finding him in a cage, hungry and scared. Shouldn't it be us trembling in fear of you? I love him. I love him, and that's why I'm here. I didn't mean to be rude to you. You want him back? Unlock the cage. He's hungry and thirsty, please. Before we set him free, tell us how you came here. It's a long story. I escaped from a place. A very ugly place. They opened the heads of children to find out what's wrong with them. Phil told me a secret, and I was clever enough to find the way out. And then I came into the woods and met a giant ant. And I killed a bug, and it was terrible. And then I met a rat who wanted to get his hair done. And then I made a door, and that door took me here. But when I entered the door, something happened. I don't remember anything else. Ah, uh, I saw a real pinecone family. That was before I came here. They live in Mr. Antonio's house. Get it? An ant named Antonio? Ha, 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 ha. They like berries. Ah, and I saw flying insects got stuck in trees because they have long hair. That was also in the woods. And now, here I am, looking for Mr. Midnight. That was some adventure. How old are you, Fran? I'm ten years old, but I have to turn eleven soon. And you? We are sixteen years old, much older than you, so you have to obey us. Fuck you, you can't tell me what to do. I don't want to obey you. You can't tell me what to do. You haven't even asked our names. That's not polite. And you shouldn't wander around in a house without permission. Are you stupid? A stupid little girl with no family at all? <laughs> I'm not stupid. You're stupid. Your face is stupid. I'm not stupid, and I do have a family. I have Aunt Grace and my kitten. Are you crying? Because if you are, you'll get in trouble. 
If you don't do exactly what we say, you and your cat will die. Do you understand? You don't scare me. Free my cat now. You idiot, you asked for it. If you don't do what we ask for, bad things will happen to your cat. We will force you to kill him with your own hands. Oh no, please. I'll do whatever you ask for. Good. Now listen to us carefully. We need you to perform a little magic trick on us. Do you like magic? Um, magic is so magical. Magic is so magical. Who doesn't like magic? Anyway, this magic is very powerful. It's tremendous and dangerous. Here is the recipe. Be cautious and precise, otherwise terrible things can happen. Okay, summon the fucking thing. I was reading that. <laughs> do it yourselves? Why can't you do it yourselves? We can't do it. It would kill us. You see, we weren't like this before. We used to be two different people in two different bodies. But how? How is that you are like this now? One night a long time ago, something appeared in front of us. We thought it was an angel, but it was not. He decided that we should spend eternity together. He cursed us to be like this. We never understood why. We have a spell to bring him back. But we'll do that later when we're not attached to each other anymore. And show him that he is powerless and he will regret it. Sounds scary. That sounds very scary, but I guess I'll have to do this for my kitty. We're going to gather some things you'll need for the ritual. And because you have been a very nutty girl... The fuck is a nutty girl? You won't even be able to talk to your cat. You'll have to wait until we come back. Let me talk to him. Oh, please let me talk to him. Let me give him some food. No, you can't. Rude bitches. And Fran, do you see this key? Can you imagine what can be opened with it? Can you, you silly, silly girl? <laughs> That's obviously the key to the cage. All right, so let's check out that recipe. Okay, lost in darkness, lost in tears, your body becomes a lie through the hand of one of the one angel that decides to bring you sorrow. I know, right? Total bitches. You need the heart of a frog, the head of a young virgin, hair and blood from a black cat. Oh, that's my cat. A pentagram made from ashes and the burnt body of a fox. This must be cooked all together inside a pot or cauldron with plenty of water. When you're about to drink the potion, repeat the words. Oh, nam bu... Okay, what the fuck that means. Alright, so... Um... Let's just try and combine a bunch of stuff. What the fuck is that? Look at him! It's him again, but I haven't taken my pills. Well, he opened the window. Thank you, but who is he? Oh, I'm in the backyard now. Okay. Um. An old bicycle. A rusty old bicycle in the middle of an island. Hey, you. Yes. Oh, hey, you. Yes, who is speaking? It's me. I'm a toad. I have to tell you something. Yes, what is it? You are in great danger. Don't trust the girls. Why do you say that? Look, girl, I'm a toad, and I know I can swim away from this place. But they won't let me. Every Oh, but they won't let me. Every time I try to get out of here, I'll magically come back. This house is like a huge magnet. A toad and cat magnet. 